guys, it's Lizzie, and thank you for joining me. I know it's been quite a while since I last posted a video on YouTube. I've just been, you know, taking a break with a lot of the hauls since we're going to be having summer SAS soon at Bath & Body Works, June 13th. Um, but I was also um, planning to vlog because on the next two weeks, I'll be away from my house and my filming stuff so um i'm just yeah didn't bring my tripod or anything i'm just yeah kind of doing this on my phone so i apologize if it looks different or weird we're at my in-laws right now we have a wedding we're going to out here for dan's best friend um dan is in the wedding and so i thought i would do a vlog of like going to the wedding and uh then we're going to cape cod after so We'll be there for a few nights so i figured why not just vlog a little bit i don't really do those too much and show you just like some outfits i'm wearing some sites that we see at, at cape cod i haven't been there in like 10 15 years it's been quite a while um and of course some shopping so yeah it might be still a while before this video goes up since we'll be you know like i said away for another couple of weeks here but we just got to my in-laws and I mentioned before that I had this 40% off coupon discount code that Bath & Body Works sent me for taking this really long survey. So it expires Monday, I believe, Monday or Tuesday. So I was like, okay, let me just wait. I'll go to the store and shop. And even though the candles weren't like that great of a deal. Um, so we went to the mall, I did some shopping. So let's start this vlog with a haul. Um, so I did, quickly stop into Sephora here because we don't really have a Sephora near my house and I had a couple of those perfume voucher coupons that you get with the like perfume sets um Sephora favorites or something and they usually give you a voucher to redeem for a full size of one of those scents so I did get the Nest um Golden Nectar uh yeah I sprayed the sample and I really did like that so I figured why not get the full size and I also got the Gucci I had two sets so I also got the Gucci Flora Gardenia gorgeous Gardenia so this is the one with the really pretty really pretty bottle that like has this print on it so I got those two for free and then I just picked this up because I also had like a Sephora store credit and you could only use it in store they wouldn't let me use it online which was weird so I picked up this little um spray travel size it's the Chloe uh EDP Naturel I wasn't sure I was going to like this but I smelled the full size in store and I could have redeemed the voucher for one of those um the scent which I was going to do but they didn't have the like one ounce size that it was um good for so I just decided to purchase this and use my store credit and then I think I paid about 15 16 dollars out of pocket so that was what I just picked up at Sephora and then like I said I had that 40 percent off coupon from Bath and Body Works so I went a little ham um yeah, let's just start. Luckily, today was a $5.95 fine fragrance mist sale. So on top of the $5.95, I got the additional 40% off. So this basically brought them down to SAS prices. So I didn't mind picking these up now anyway. So I did get the Golden Ocean Pearl, which is Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid, Golden Amber. Um, I'm not going to smell them now because this would just be such a long video as is. Um, and I picked up a single wick, well, a couple single wicks, pear creme brulee. I was surprised that they still had these out. Um, my store back at home put all of this collection away. I think they're going to bring them out for SAS, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're 75% off. Um, but I figured, like I said, with the 40% off, it almost, well, it didn't really bring it down to SAS prices, but I just couldn't help myself and wanted to get another one of these and not miss out. And they also had the berry waffle cone in this cute summer packaging so i had to get that i think they they're putting the scent notes again back on the single wicks yeah they are fragrance notes sweet summer berries golden waffle cone creamy vanilla with natural essential oils so that is good that they're doing that again i got two of those and they had the firecracker pop pocket bag so i got five of these and they also had this pocket bag which i did not get yet at my store escape the ordinary pineapple mango i think i got one, two, three, three of those maybe. Um, and then I got Better Together, which is Berry Waffle Cone. I just think that packaging is so cute. I think I got one, two, three, 
of those. So three of those as well. And then the, some of the minis were still the three for $7. And with the 40% off, it brought them down to like under $2, which is SAS prices basically. So I did get another um, Gingham Love mini travel size shower gel and two hand creams. I got the Fresh Getaway hand cream and the Hello Spring, which is fresh cut lilacs. Um, so that was one little bag. I decided to go ahead and get this three wick candle holder is the pineapple luminary. I kind of like it with the black and the gold. I think it's a little bit different and chic. Um, and this was like really cheap. I'll, I'll, I'll read the prices off in a minute here. Um, I probably should have gotten more than one, but I guess I think I could still use the code online. So I might still place an online order. We will see because I could just see this getting bent and damaged during shipping as well. So that would suck. So I picked up a few candles. Like I said, not a lot of them were new or that great with the um, $10 off plus 40. So, but it brought them down to 870. So not too bad. So I got the, so I got the sea salt and sales. I think this is kind of like manly cologne scent. So not my favorite, but I'll get one of them for the collection. Ocean sea spray, aloe vera, nectar, driftwood. I did pick up orange pineapple punch in this packaging. I really like the palm trees. It just reminds me of like Santa Monica, Ventura Boulevard, I don't know. California, tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, vanilla sugar cane. I had to back this one up. I think this is my third one, chocolate banana mudslide. So why not get one more? Cause there's just so much that I already know I went for SAS. I figured get the stuff that I do want backups of right now because I'll be buying a bunch of new stuff I'm sure at SAS, which is frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, splash of rum. And last here is the Fiji White Sands. And um, this one is fresh sugar, fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, sandalwood. So got this packaging. I meant to get watermelon lemonade, but I forgot to look at it. The bag was getting super heavy. So I was just like, okay, this is good for candles. And then I got Beach Nights in the Fine Forever's Mist, cause like I said, it was about SAS price. Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, Creamy Vanilla. I actually got Beach Nights uh, on Marcari earlier this year for probably about $20, $25. So that kind of sucks that they decided to bring it out and I spent that, but that's okay. I do like both packagings, so I will keep both of them in my collection. And then I also decided to get Firecracker Pop, even though I have this from last year's SAS. I just love that packaging. I love the popsicle and was gonna pick it up at SAS, but now just decided to get this. And then I got soaps. The soaps ended up being just the regular six for $27 deal, but then bringing um, them down to about 270, 280. So that's usually about how much the soaps will be um, for sale prices, unless you know you see them SAS. Um, this Oceanfront Garden, and this is Salted Orchid, Beachgrass, and Lemon Zest. Love Winds. I like uh, the Rainbow Waves. Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, and Misty Waters. Turquoise Waters. I don't think I ever had this one in a soap, so I decided to get this. Bergamot, Daylily, and Sea Spray. Oh, this was sold out online, so I couldn't get it in my online order, so I was glad to see it at the store. Sweet Strawberry scoop which is sugar pink strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream i heard people either like it or don't i actually got two of them because i figured why not get two while i can i did get another bright summer days which is coconut milk sunny star fruit and warm sands and the last soap i got i just like grabbed this wildflower rose i don't know if this is good it's been around blooming wildflower enchanting rose bouquet and musk okay so those were everything from this haul um like i said the candles ended up, through wick candles ended up being 870, so lower than candle day. Um, that, this pineapple holder, so with 50% off, and then that was $15, and then the additional 40 brought it down to $9, $8.98, that's crazy. Um, the soaps were $2.70, and yes, fine fragrance mist were $3.57, Single wicks were six dollars and sixty, and the little minis were a dollar thirty nine, a dollar forty, and the pocket bags were ninety six cents. So in total, um, I saved two hundred and eleven dollars and forty five cents. That that is semi annual sale 
savings right there. So why not go ahead, get these right now and still have a couple of weeks until SAS to figure out what the new stuff, what I want to get then. So that is great. I am very happy. The sales associate was even like, wow, you got it. You brought that way down. I'm like, I know I plan ahead. So yeah, thank you guys and continue to see what else I'm up to for the next couple of weeks. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay guys, so this is what I'm wearing to the wedding today that we're going to. It's Dan's best friend from high school and Dan is in the wedding, so he is already there getting pictures done. I'm sorry about the angle and the mess behind me. I just have to get this um, collar buttoned from my mother-in-law. And this is my full face of makeup that I haven't done in a very long time. Um, the eyeshadow is one of the Pat McGrath Mothership uh, palettes, one of the first ones she did that the six pants um, in the pink packaging. So I just did like a purple eye look and I used um, a Stila, what are they, the Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows that were like so popular back in the day and mine is almost dried up but I was still able to manage to get some of it out for this glittery eye look. I do have to still put on lipstick. I was just drinking water so I was just waiting to put on my lipstick and let me show you the shoes and bag I will be bringing. Oh you can see that highlighter popping. I used the Too Faced um, liquid highlighter. It was like a, in like a gummy bear packaging. I don't remember. And, and then I just used a little bit of the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Pro perfector and I think like amethyst or something over that um, and then I did brush it a little bit with powder over and so yeah I'm just gonna put on I think a Dior pink lipstick here and show you my shoes and this dress I actually got from Anthropology. Um, it's a maxi dress and it's very comfortable and light so this was I picked six dresses for this freaking wedding and like I didn't like any of them on so basically um, this was the sixth dress that I picked and I decided this is the one I like the best and returned um, all the other ones so let's see my shoes and my purse one moment so these are the shoes they're just Sam Edelman shoes very comfortable kind of a new pinky color with a gold front band and this high heel they were comfortable last time I wore them but who knows like how long ago that was and I feel like my feet are swollen in this heat and then this is the purse I'll be carrying it's my little cute Mew Mew pleated leather pink nude bag and this was the Pat McGrath palette that I wore the Levian Rose yes so I used a lot of um, the purples and a little bit of shimmer from this and then the Stila so yeah and then here's the lipstick I'll be wearing but we'll be off to the wedding and I'll try and post a little bit from there And yeah. there is the beach right at the end of the street. Yay. Beautiful day for start of our vacation. Yeah. And we're going Ooh, into fabuloso. our Airbnb. Go ahead, Irish. Get up there. Uh, Very cute little cottage condo that we rented. The beach, I'll show you. It's like within view. This is cute. Look at this. Very cute. Welcome to Cape Cod. And it does smell like fabuloso. Which is good because I need to wipe down some stuff just in case. Little bathroom. That's okay. Check the closets. Uh, oh, we have a little Patio, I think this is just ours. I believe the term for it is a lanai. Lanai. It's a lanai. Okay, check this closet. And our Airbnb host even left us some huge chocolate chip muffins and breakfast treats. How nice. Oh, our first time at the Atlantic Ocean in a long time. <laughs> and here's Irish. He's going to come see the beach for the first time with Dad, Dad, Uncle Mark. Come on, Irish. Whoa, look, at that. look at that. What is that? Is that the ocean? Got 
chilly as a girly. Oh, here comes the water! Ooh, it's not bad. You're gonna be chilling. It's Look. okay. Here comes the water! Second day at the Cape, and it's another gorgeous one. And Irish is upset about something. Did you step on a shell? Come on. Step. Come on, walk. Walk to me. Come here. Come here. Step over it. Good job. Dan and Mark are in the ocean. Not too windy today, and not many people on the beach. It's beautiful. You gotta come to the Cape during the week. Just a quick little outfit for tonight's casual dinner. We're gonna hit up some Asian Hawaiian fusion restaurant that Mark knows. Um, no makeup, sorry, Irish is coming in. There's Irish's little Hawaiian outfit. So I'm wearing these pink lightweight pants from J. Crew. This shirt was just from Anthropology last year. <laughs> I just had to show these slides from Ugg. I do not ever buy Ugg shoes before, like never those boots or anything. But I saw these at Bloomingdale's and they were so ugly and weird looking. I just had to try them. And then I liked them so much I bought a second color. They're so these are the most comfortable shoes ever. I had got the neon yellow that you see here and I also got black and Irish is upset right now. Um, and I think they have some other colors on the Ugg website, but I got these from Bloomingdale's. So yeah, they're very ugly, but um, they're perfect for my wide feet. And they just have like adjustable Velcro straps on the sides. Um, so yeah, I just had to show those. This is the beach at the end of our street from the Airbnb. About 9 a.m. and it is empty. <laughs> It's a little bit cooler and gray today. But it is so peaceful and serene. Gorgeous. Okay guys, so we're back from vacation. Our little few days spent at the Cape. I'm sorry I didn't vlog too much. Um, it's just not used to vlogging so so much here on my channel, but I did do a couple videos of Irish at the beach for the first time. And I'm going to show here a, another Bath and Body Works haul because when we came back, they had a members early access 1295 three week sale. So I did a buy online pick up in store order and use my 20% off coupon that expires next Sunday, the 12th. And when I went in store today to get the order, I thought I'll just, you know, browse around and probably use my physical coupon in store. But Bath and Body Works was nice and gave us a email code, um, to get 20% off today. So I'm still saving this coupon, I guess, till next week maybe. Um, but yeah, this is what I picked up from Buy Online Pick Up in Store here. So the candles were $12.95 plus the 20% off. So I got the white tea and sage, which I did not have yet in this collection. And I just love the mint green colored wax and the little bee on there. Picked up another Kiwi Star Fruit Cooler. I just love this packaging. Um, the Fiji White Sands, not my favorite, but I, like I said, I like this packaging a lot from this collection, so I wanted one of those. Um, this is not a scent that I enjoy at, on cold, but everybody is saying it's great um, when you burn it, and it just really has that watermelon scent. And um, yeah, I guess it's not available online anymore, so I figured why not get another one while it's still in store for now. And then I got a turquoise waters, um, the 2950 candle since it's 1295, but it does not have the fancy lid, which is too bad. 
Um, also, buy online, pick up in store. I did finally get the single wick holder, of the Monstera leaves. This was 50% um, off, plus the 20. And I regretted not getting another one of these when I had my 40% off coupon. So I got it now um, with the 20. Um, so just a couple dollars more than what I paid for for the first one. So I picked up another one. And then in store, they had the clamshells that everybody's looking for for the three wick holders. So my store had two, so I got both of them. I don't have the one from last year's, which I guess is prettier looking because it's um, more iridescent. But these are pretty nice and weighty and ceramic, and there was like no chipping or anything. So I got the two that they had, and I guess they did have more because when I was leaving, I saw the two that I picked up already replaced. <laughs> so they must have put out a couple more. So these were... What, $24.95 plus the 20% off, so that brought them down to about $20. And then I did pick up the Pink Pineapple Sunrise Moisturizing Body Wash. It was the only one left on the 50% off table, and I know we'll probably go to SAS, but I figured why not, 50% off plus my 20 and I got that. And then I used my coupon for a free item and picked up the Happy Birthday Fine Fragrance Miss Mini. I know it's supposed to just be like Merry Cookie, but why not uh, get it since it's, you know, fun and festive and a mini. Yeah, I don't know. They're having a lot of sales right now, um, trying to get people to buy before SAS, which is next Monday. So I am trying to not be tempted by every sale, but you know, when you have those coupons, you can't just let them go to waste sometimes. So we'll see if I do go back in store or we'll just wait till SAS on Monday.